Good morning, and thank you for joining us in a time of devotion. My name is Micah, and I always enjoy starting my day with a time of prayer and a time in the Word of God. It's always elevational to your day, and I believe that it will be elevational to your day right now. I was reading in the book of Proverbs, chapter number one, and it says, Wisdom shouts in the street. This is chapter one, verse number 20 through 23. Wisdom shouts in the street. She cries out in the public square. She calls to the crowds along the main street, to, go, to those gathered in front of the city gate. So picture, picture this woman, this woman shouting and screaming and walking in the street. She's, she's shouting to the ones in the city gates, in front of the city gates. And historically, the city gates were the place where people made decisions and where business was done. And so she's, she's shouting to influencers. She's shouting to the ones who are making decisions. She's, she's working hard to, to call to the crowds and to get their attention, if you will. She's, she's wanting to get their attention. She's saying this, verse 22, how long, you simpletons, will you insist on being simple-minded? How long will you mockers relish your mocking? How long will you fools hate knowledge? So she's comparing different things, this, this wisdom woman. She's comparing different things. She, how, how long are you going to relish your mocking? Are you, how long are you bent on being simple-minded? How, how long will you continue to hate knowledge? Then verse 23, it says, come and listen to my counsel. I'll share my heart with you and make you wise. And today's focus is accessing wisdom. Accessing wisdom. Now, wisdom itself is actually a quality. It's an attribute. It's something that one gains mentally, spiritually, emotionally. There's, There's wisdom to be gained in this world. But one thing it isn't is a person. I do know a person named Wisdom, but that's not what Solomon is writing about. He's writing about the concept of wisdom, but he's personifying that concept. He's he's saying, I want to put it into the form of a person in order to illustrate a point to you more clearly, because we all can picture this woman walking in the street, shouting to those around, trying to get someone's attention. And what she's saying is very clear. She's saying, hey, why, why aren't you listening to me? Now, he's saying this is wisdom speaking. So Solomon is wise himself. He, he, is, he understands what he's saying. He understands what he's doing. And he's saying this is wisdom personified. And she's saying, why aren't you paying attention to what I'm saying? She's, she's doing everything she can to make herself known. She's, she's desperately trying to make herself available to anyone who will listen, anyone who wants to access what she has, and yet it seems like they're keeping her at bay. It seems like they're just kind of ignoring the fact that she's even there. She's saying, why aren't you listening? And I would say to you that, that if you need wisdom today, wisdom is available to you. Wisdom is available, you choose to access that wisdom, or you choose not to access that wisdom. Now, knowledge, knowledge, the access to knowledge has never been greater. You you can just with a few clicks on a keyboard, you can access the knowledge of the world. You can find out right now what the weather's like in Bangladesh. You can find out right now what's going on and what trains are running on time in New York or what trains are running late. Right now, you can find out what airplanes are on time or late in London, England. You can, you can find knowledge very easily and very simply. And in our world today, I think many of us have confused knowledge and wisdom. Because we have a lot of knowledge, we believe that we have a lot of wisdom, and that is simply not the case. Wisdom is not hiding from us. 
It wants to be accessed, but wisdom and knowledge are not the same thing. In fact, I think most of us can probably relate to the, the experience of sharing knowledge in the wrong moment, at the wrong time, to the wrong person, sharing that knowledge and, and receiving a very negative response from it. Receiving a response that really isn't what we were looking for at all. But it, it, the, the problem is we had the knowledge, but we did not have the wisdom on how to apply the knowledge. Wisdom is the ability to know when to share, with whom to share, and what to share when knowledge is concerned. So it's the ability to read the room, to read the place, to read the person, to read the situation, the circumstance, to, to filter all of that through, all, uh, through the, the, the filter of wisdom, if you will, and come to the conclusion that this is what I need to share in this moment with this person at this time. So knowledge is easy to get, but wisdom, often wisdom must be learned. Recently, I had a, an opportunity to sit down uh, with a group of younger people, and I introduced them to an older individual. And for about two hours, we sat, and the older man dispensed wisdom to those of us who were younger than he was, he is. And what he's doing is he's saying, over the years, I've, I've used knowledge this way and used knowledge that way and used knowledge the other way. And, and what I've determined is the best way to use this knowledge is, and the outcome of that statement is wisdom. Wisdom. And sometimes we, we long for this wisdom, but the wisdom is there. In fact, the, the scripture says in Proverbs the scripture tells us that, that the person who is slow to speak and quick to listen appears wise. That, that it's, it's better to be quiet than to prove yourself unwise by speaking too quickly. Wisdom is not hard. It just takes intentionality and it takes prudence. The wise man Solomon says that wisdom is shouting at us in the streets. The question is, will we use the wisdom that we already have to elevate our day today? Will, will we intentionally walk into each moment, into each interaction, and consider the who, the where, the when, the what, the place, the timing? Consider those things before we begin to share what it is that we know or the knowledge that we have. One of the things I've done as a, as a young leader is I've shared too much too quickly with too many. And in doing so, my heart was right and their heart was right. It just wasn't the right time. And I ended up hurting people unintentionally. I ended up hurting the system that I was in, the, the, the organization that I was part of, because I shared too much too quick. Wisdom says, hold up and listen before you speak. Look at what wisdom says. How long, you simpletons, now, that's not nice, but how long will you insist on being simple-minded? How long will you mockers relish your mocking? How long will your fo you fools hate knowledge? So I want you to see that wisdom Wisdom's not hard to get, but it's saying, you are intentionally refusing me. I, I would say that most of us, if we thought about it for a moment, we know what we should do, and even when we should do it. We just may not like the timing. And so she said, hey, you, you insist on being simple-minded. I've run into people who say, well, that's just how I am. That's just my nature. I'm just going to say it like I see it. Well, sometimes things are a little more complicated than that. Maybe don't say everything that you see. Nobody of maturity says everything that they see. Nobody. Wisdom says, hold your peace. She says, how long will you mockers relish your mocking? It doesn't take much to tear people down. It doesn't take much to, to drive anything down. Picking on people, being sarcastic. It's funny at times, no doubt about it. But 
it doesn't take wisdom to do it. She said, don't relish mocking. How long will you fools hate knowledge? How long will it take you to stop being focused on hating the knowledge of what you should do in order to appeal to what you simply want to do? The odd thing about this knowledge wisdom thing is that knowledge is so easy to get. So easy to get. But we don't always do what we know, knowledge. We don't do what we have knowledge that we should. Case in point, everyone knows that diet plus good exercise equals a healthier lifestyle. But how many times are we told over and over that that is what needs to happen and we don't do it? We know. And wisdom says, apply that knowledge in your life right now. But we say, no, 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 no. How long will you fools hate knowledge? That's what wisdom says. So my encouragement to do today is to do what you know is right today. Let wisdom guide you. I believe it's already in you. If you have the Holy Spirit working in you, then you have wisdom at work in your life right now. And so, Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray that we would heed the words of wisdom as she cries in the street, trying to get our attention. And I believe our day is going to be a better day because we are going to heed her words we are absolutely going to receive the knowledge that she has. We're going to receive and, and put away the mocking that is so easy to engage in. And we are going to not be satisfied with simple mindedness. But we are going to strive to receive all that you have for us today. And we will walk in wisdom. In Jesus name. Amen. I believe it's going to be a great day. God bless you.